Hey everybody, it's Lisa Love and my baby. Tell me your baby. Pleasure. That's what y'all call her. I call her something else. Um, <laughs> so y'all, I'm gonna do a story time today. And I invited my baby because she was a part of it. Actually, my other baby was too, but she is she cooking. Yeah. Mm, that's food. Mm, mm, mm. She is a great cook, y'all, by the way. Yes. But yeah, y'all. So this is the story time about the time I what are we gonna what are they calling? <laughs> y'all it's not funny but like this is how we cope yeah it's this really sad so the story time about the time i got attacked mind y'all it was the first day i really left left the house and went back to the club the strip club so yeah and i got me uh guess 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 i wonder if y'all can guess by the packaging so i'm gonna just open it up and so this was a gift y'all and it's kind of my favorite people. Y'all should know who it is by now. Oh, almost messed myself up. So y'all, this story time. Um, if you don't like hearing about stuff like that, or like you know the R word, or you know just anything aggressive, I am. This is a this. What is it? Your discretion, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't want because I know like a lot of things can trigger me. Sometimes hearing about other people's stories trigger me. So if you are don't want to hear this, please just don't. Even if you support me, if you can't take this, please don't because it is very traumatizing. Yeah, and I'm gonna be posting a lot. I'm gonna be posting a video about it, about like you know what I'm talking about, a little video from the cameras. Mm -hmm. So if this is not for you, please don't watch. Even if you support me just sit this one out because it gets crazy but anyway y'all oh it's so cute it's a wrapping paper in here look it because it's about that time oh y'all another thing real quick um so y'all know if y'all been in my channel since well, well last year christmas time y'all y'all know about the free gifts and the free toys y'all if you have kids or anybody free gifts are for you so I'm gonna put um um I'm gonna tell y'all what to do inside the description box, okay? So basically what it is, um this company just sends out free stuff and I'm gonna you just click the link and then you try to send your link out. So when usually what I do, I'm gonna take everybody's link and I'm gonna keep doing it until everybody gets their stuff. So every time it updates, I'm gonna update the description box and everybody will be helping everybody literally every time somebody else get and it's 10 gifts right now so 10 gifts 10 free gifts y'all don't have to do nothing besides share your link and click the link okay so view the description box and yeah and if you need help email me at mm, which email am i on right now b-a-l-l-a-r-d-a-l-l-y-s-s-a-1-5 at icloud.com all right back to this y'all can y'all guess what it is yet this is crazy. That was so cute. Like, it's literally wrapping paper. I should wrap up a gift in this. That's what I'll do. I'm going to wrap up a gift in this. Can y'all tell? I know y'all can tell right now. Yeah. Star Crunch Shop, y'all. So, this is a Star Mix. I have not had their anything new yet. And I know they rebranded. So, this is all new to me. This is Food Lion. This is, it says mystery mix. Oh, I even got a squeeze bottle. It's a mystery mix squeeze bottle. And I also have star crumbs. So I have not had any of these new products that they brought out. I know they took a break and they rebranded everything, I believe. So yeah. What do I want to try first? How do we get into this? So y'all, the day all this happened, I literally decided that I want to try to go to the club because I've been doing real good out getting outside. My baby's been helping me get outside. I've been to fun place and just multiple places. So I thought I was ready, you know, and I missed that life, you know, because I love dancing so much. And I just wanted to go experience it again. And it was, yeah. So we went there. Everything was really fun. It was really cool. And my babies, they stayed with me the whole time. We really vibed. I really was around them most of the time. We even played darts, y'all. It was really, it was really nice, right? It was a good time. So, um, I don't even know if I took a sip of anything at the club. No. Yeah, no, because I wanted to be sober, and all my anxiety is really bad, especially in that environment. But I wanted to see if I could handle it, and I did so well. 
And it was pretty far from where I was, honestly. It was about a 15-minute drive. So, um, after, after the club, basically, everything was fine. So, me and my baby kind of got into a little disagreement because I did not want her to leave me for some reason. Like, I literally was trying to get her to stay with me. And I say that most of the time, but this time it was a little more different because I was really, I was more sad that she was leaving more than, like, usually I'd be irritated, like, rolling my eyes. This was different for me, and I, I didn't know why. My so, dude was only going for, like, maybe, what, five minutes? Yeah, and, the, like, right up the street. We was going up the street, and it was probably for, like, five minutes. And when I say we, she was with her sister, and I think your cousin. Is the right mm -hmm. I'm not sure. No, just me, Keisha, and my sister, and her girlfriend. And Sadie, so, yep. which is my twin brother. So... As they're leaving, y'all, um, what what was I doing? I was on the phone, and I was just talking, y'all. Um, so I had found out somebody passed away, and I was trying to console somebody at the same time. And I'm feeling so I have really bad anxiety. Like, it gets severely bad, y'all, talking about, you know, people passing away and stuff like that. <laughs> okay, Star Crunch Rock. Mm hmm this is called star pop i don't know what they did differently we gotta stay on track i'll talk about this after um so i'm sitting in the car and i wasn't sitting in the car all the way i was like my door it looked shut right but you know how when you shut the door a little bit so to the point where you can't like it's not pulled shut though you know and my little leg was hanging a little bit out the car but it looked shut i was on the phone trying to console this person i'm on the phone with because somebody we mutually both know passed away. I was not paying attention, y'all. As I was on the phone, this man, this shirtless man, literally, like, walked up on my car. And my first instinct, like, my heart dropped instantly because it was the way he walked up to my car. So, like, he was walking already. Mind you, I didn't notice him. I'm going to put both of the camera footage videos in it. You can tell he was already in the area, but I was not paying attention because I was on the phone. Um, and he, like, kind of looked in my car. He was in the middle of my car at first. And then when he looked like this and see me in it, he started walk walking towards me. I literally, like, I was so scared. I was, like, that was so scary for me. Like, I thought it was over at that point. Like, I, I, I didn't know what to think. And I screamed so loud. And I, like, it was just bad. So, he comes to the car. And... He was like opening the door, but mind y'all, I told y'all it wasn't all the way shut. And at this point, when he gets all the way to the other side, I like him moving up because I need to get out, you know? I'm thinking, like, I need to get out of this situation, whatever. And he's trying to push me in my car, y'all. Like, and he literally hit me in the face. Like, he punched me dead in my face. Like, I literally, it was, it's, it was like, it was so crazy, y'all. Like, he hit me so hard to the, I hit my head on the back of my car. So my car, so it was bleeding. Oh yeah, I look like so right here is where he hit me, and I hit the back of my head. My car is it's it's really low, so like I hit my head as soon as he hit me, and I squared up with him, y'all, for like two seconds. Cause I was like, wait a minute, what am I doing? I am so small compared to him, but he's literally trying to get me back in my car. I don't know what he's trying to do to me. I just started thinking of my kids, y'all. That's the only thing I could think of. Like I was so scared. All I could think about. Is me never seeing my kids again. Like, I didn't, like, and I was screaming so loud, so loud. Like, I know a lot of people heard me because it was like, it was a, I've never even heard me scream like that. It was treacherous. It was scary. And so, after, like, he's like, mind you, this is like only a three second scuffle right here at this point. Like, of him trying to, but like, it was so slow for me because it's so traumatic and it just felt like the end of the world for me. So, I feel like we're there forever and we're really not. But he's trying to get me into the car. And I, like, push him. And I move. And I start running. This man runs after me. And I had to make the decision. So I was outside the house. I thought about it. I was like, okay, the kids are in the house. This door's open. Or I can keep running straight. I didn't know what to do at that point. And I felt like the best decision was to run in the house. Because if he kept chasing me, I have really bad asthma. Especially in the summertime. And I don't know the area that well. So when I leave... I don't really look at things. I just stay paying attention to my phone or under my cuffs. So I don't know my surroundings that well, especially 
over in this area that I'm in. So I had to make the, the it was like a really fast decision. I almost thought I made the wrong decision because I ran the house and all I remember was him running after me. And I shut the door real fast. My son's on the couch, but he has the TV so loud. I'm actually glad he didn't have to witness any of that because it was so bad. Like, he, this man was on a mission. Like, you would think he had something against me. Like, he looked so angry. He didn't say nothing to me. He didn't make a, a noise, a grunt, nothing. His face was just so stale. And, like, he looked like he was ready to do whatever. And That's risk what, it all. He literally. So, after that, um... I run into the house and I go get my big firearm because I don't know what's about to happen. I know I got a house full of kids and I know this man was just running after me and I don't. So in the midst of all this, y'all, I threw my phone at him. I left that out and my phone is shattered. It's still broke. It's broken. But the phone call is actually, it was still going, but the phone is broken on both this phone too. I had this phone too. And I threw this one as well. This one's not broken. But so at that point, I had no, no, I, I couldn't reach my babes. I didn't know the number by heart. I should have, but I didn't. So I called 911. It, it was like, it was too much going on. And I didn't know where he was. I didn't know if he ran. And I thought he did, but for some reason, I thought he would come back. I don't know what I was thinking. So I had the firearm in my hand. I'm literally, so my babes, they have a ring camera. So I'm pressing the little button, the ding dong button, so it can alert to their phones. Or I don't know what I'm trying to do, but I'm trying to get a hold of it. So I'm on the phone with the police. I'm telling them everything. I'm trying. They're asking so many questions, y'all, but I'm so freaked out. Like, I'm just like, y'all need to get here. Like, I can't, I can't even talk right now. Like, and I really could. I was stumbling on my words. I was literally so scared. I got my son in the background asking me what's wrong, this, that, and the third. So the police, they get here so fast, y'all. This is the first time I was proud of them. They got there so fast. They were so deep. And as soon as they got there, I was able to get my phone from the floor the other one that wasn't broken um i had the other person still on the phone but i couldn't even hang up because the phone it was just shattered but still she was able to still she even screen recorded some of it i believe anyway so i got my other phone i called them i'm telling her i'm like if she gets here in no time both of them so when they get here my brother he hopped off the car when i tell y'all he was ready to go to jail so he starts running after this dude he's still in the area y'all he's still in the area like i don't know so my brother, I'm trying to calm him down on top of me being calmed. And she's trying to console me. And it's getting worse because I'm trying to also help my brother. And this is my this is my twin brother. So, you know, we're just really, really close. I'm close to all my siblings, but that's the one, you know. He was willing to go to jail, you know. If he would have caught that dude, I can't tell you what would have happened. Like, no, I can't. And it was just so crazy. So my brother's running after him to the point where I tried to stop him. And then he literally took flight. He took flight. And I was like, you know what? I can't do nothing about this right now. I'm trying to focus on this uh, police officer trying to talk to me, trying to calm me down. Then I noticed my lips started bleeding. And I felt so much relief when I seen her. Not when I seen the police, but when I seen her. Because she's literally my safe place. Like, y'all, when she hugs me, it feels like I am so protected. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. And I was just bawling and bawling. So at this point, I'm like, hold on. Because they're trying to figure out who this person is. I'm trying to describe it to them, but I'm so distraught that I can't. I can. All I said was he was shirtless. I don't. I don't know who he is. He was shirtless. That it was asking me did I see him at the club, and I think it's unrelated. Honestly, all of it. I think that was unrelated, but it was just so crazy that the night, the first night, I went back to a club after years. And if y'all watch my story times before, you know what happened. Why I'm actually like this, and it took place leaving the club. I got followed home. And stuff happened to me and yeah so then i remember i was like there's a ring camera so y'all i'm gonna put the video right here I've seen the video. It was like that. Like that was the scariest moment of my life. Like one of them at least. And it's just so crazy. I've been through so many scary things. That one, and I still have nightmares about him and stuff like that. 
Yeah. It set you back a little bit too. Yeah, and I was doing so good going on mm -hmm. like consistently. Mm -hmm. I was getting more comfortable. Um, so after that, um, my brother they couldn't find him, but the police found him on a different side. Right? Yeah, I think like a block over or something. It took them some time though. Mm -hmm. So the police found Not too him. long though. It was still that same night. Yeah, it just him. felt like everything took forever, honestly, mm -hmm. but it really didn't. So we are so good, y'all. Um. After that, they found him, and I was having a real hard time, but they wanted me to go up to the car and make sure that was him, and it was bothering me, so I took a minute to even go to the car. Um, and the only reason why I went is because my brother started tweaking. He was about to go to the car. He was, my brother was, he was ready to risk it all, and I love that because that is some serious loyalty, and I would do the same. So, I go to the car, I verify that it was him, um, Incapacitated. Yeah, that's what they say. Mm -hmm. So he had to like he needed he couldn't breathe or like, like his heart was stopping. Attention. Yeah, it was really bad. And mm -hmm. he didn't need none of that because he just full blown hate me and ran away, punched me in my face. He had all the strength in the world. Now he need medical assistance. So me and my brother and my brother we was getting so upset because you know. I don't think he was just like acting to try and get out of being in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> so instead of them like taking him to, to jail, jail right away, he went to the hospital. Yeah. So we were getting pretty irritated with that. And I know the police didn't believe that, but they got to go by protocols, what they said. So, um, y'all, yeah, I'm just really distraught still. I couldn't believe that's what happened to me when first I, like, it was all connected for me for whatever reason, but it's unrelated. But still, it was really bad for me. And, yeah. So, after that, I don't know, y'all. It really just set me back a lot. I didn't know what was going to happen to me. I was honestly thinking that was going to be the last day I ever seen my kids. That's all I could think about was my babies. And it really messed me up for days. It's still now, actually. But I was having nightmares back to back to back. I would think I was seeing him, even though I'm cuddled up with my babies. I would think, like, I couldn't even sleep with the doors open around the house. It was really bad. And even in the shower, I used to, like, I used to always think he was going to come in. It was crazy, though. And it sent me back, but, like, I'm doing way better now. And then, y'all, babe, tell them what we just found out. What did you say? Oh, we ended up seeing him on Omaha Skinner arrested again for, uh, what was it, sexual aggravated assault or? I think it was aggravated assault. Sexual harassment. Hold on. I'm going to pull it up here in a second. Because that was crazy. You just passed it. Really? Did you mm. get the story next to it? No. This is him, though. This is him. But I'm about to go find the thing. Because in some of my babies, they were trying to low key keep me from it to like help me honestly because when i seen that like when i tell y'all my heart went right back because that could have been me you know he did something to the victim i believe what are the charges so let me see babe oh okay it says release the name of a suspect driver from the pursuit that started in sarby county tuesday november 7 2023 refugio R. Cross Hernandez has been released from the Douglas County Hospital. So he must have did the same thing again and booked into Douglas County. That's crazy because he went to the hospital for me too. Mm -hmm. He has been charged with first degree sexual assault of a child, flight to avoid arrest, weapon possession by a prohibited person, resisting arrest, obstruction, leave the scene of a property damage crash, willful, reckless driving, no operator's license. Further charges may be added by Sarpy County. That is crazy. But to think he was, yeah, it's a sexual assault of a child. That is crazy. Because just a, like, if I wasn't, if I didn't fight back, y'all, I don't know what could have happened. Yeah. And for a long time, I didn't think about it that way. Until my babe, my babe said something to me. She was like, she was just telling me like she was proud of me. And I was feeling very, I don't know how to even describe the way I was feeling, y'all. I just know I wasn't the same for about a good two days. And it put me right back in the house. And I, like, 
my kids started like singing it again. My son even asked me, he's like, Mom, are you done going outside? I was just like, But I am doing better. Um, y'all, I just went on my first date today. And it was amazing. So, you know, that was, what was it? It was like a little steep on my life. But it's just so crazy that I go through, I went through a lot of traumatic things, y'all. And I think I am a testament, a walking testament. I think I am here are. to share my experiences and to spread awareness about anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've literally been through so much from the ages of literally five and up. Like, it's crazy. Um, yeah. Y'all, mm. first of all, 10 out of 10. Hey. <laughs> they need an unbiased opinion. <laughs> Come on. I'm eating candy. Wow. Y'all, this is 10 out of 10. Circum shop, they, 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 I don't know what they did, but it's better. And they were already the, like, they were already great. This is amazing. Like, mm hmm. And it's so pure. It's a good pure, too. Like, Y'all said the other day that I don't think I like Rumford um, hard, but I lied. Star Crunch Shop sent me Rumford before, and I absolutely loved it. And this made me remind, this reminded me. So, yeah, I just wanted to point that out there. Mm. Y'all need to tap in. Mm. All right, let me try the Star Crumbles. I've never had these. This is one of the newer products. Trying to see my big hot day is tomorrow. <laughs> you can't do that when I'm doing this. See? Go ahead. You gotta go in front of the camera. No, it's okay. It's not. <laughs> Let me help you. Mm. Mm. So, y'all, we got a decorated squeeze bottle. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm on. A... Mm. <laughs> That's right. I love the way they do things. So, this is Mystery Mix, and it's in a cute little tub. Like, yeah, on the go. Now that I leave the house, I'll just take that little thing with me. Star Mix. This is Star Mix. Mm -hmm. It sounds like there's some hard pieces in here. Oh, this is cute. So they even got the, there's plastic over here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like how the stores we have and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I love the way their stuff looks. Like, you know, a lot of people are lazy or just don't, you know, they just don't do as much as stuff as this. And, presentation is almost everything and their product is a1 it is a 10 out of 10 for me y'all know how i feel about star crunch shop y'all need to go get you some of this okay so y'all know i'm not that much of a powder girly but you know i will put a straw in the box from time to time let's see They want me a different type of addicted. Here, have you some? Oh, absolutely not. Have you some? You got it. You want me to pour you some more? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's do a sideways for the camera. Mm -hmm. and this stuff is dry, <laughs> all right? Don't let that hit the back of my... You want more? Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Mystery Mix is a 10 out of 10, okay? That is good. And y'all know I don't do powder like that. Oh. Y'all already seen me try this. I've been eating this up. Let's try the Mystery Mix in. Some fun. All right, hold on. Let me 
<laughs> it says open. <laughs> All right. This is what we have women for. That's what you Other women. <laughs> oh, it's not me. I need to try that ASAP. Come on, man. <laughs> Maybe move on to the next one until we get it open. All right. We're going to try the star mix in this i think it's just powder i'm not sure this doesn't even say anything actually i need a spoon or something i think Hold on. i'm sorry because i just grabbed this type of stuff my hand. okay it is powder let's see oh no it's hard pieces in it y'all what is this Is this AL? Oh my god. Y'all, this is real authentic AL. Babe, do you know how many sellers, like, they don't sell real authentic AL? They make their own laundry flavor. Mm -hmm. This is a L. Oh my gosh! Mm, I need down. to save this. Mm -hmm. Oh my! Me on my own. Hold on. I need to put this in a frame. Y'all, oh, it looks so good. I can't stop. Oh my goodness, I am so happy about that. That just made my whole day. Let me try these crumbles real quick. Oh my goodness. This is the work I went through to open this container. Exquisite. Mm -hmm. And everything has its own taste. I love that. Like, mm. really good. Y'all, one of the best experiences. All right, now we got this. Mm, look at these flat pieces. Mm. 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 Mm-hmm. No, you got it. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
You don't like it? You don't like it? Mark for you. You don't want for y'all? And I love that for you. For y'all. You don't like that. You just tried the wrong one. Make me like toasty. Mm -mm. Yeah, you need to try toasty. No. So anyway, y'all, I got more story times on the way. Um, oh my gosh, I got more content on the way. Thank you guys for watching me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Um, y'all, we will get more into the fifty bricks tomorrow, or I'll post a video tomorrow. Yeah. And yeah, Lisa loves you guys. You already know that. Um, this was a great video, and I'm so glad my love participated in it. You did so great, day Y'all tell her that she did great. And I also want to know are y'all team Lisa or team Lazy? All right, we out. We gotta do that at the same time. One, two, three. We out. <laughs>